Leo Tolstoy was a great writer. He was a Russian. Tolstoy was a man of peace. He wrote many good stories. Each story has a valuable moral. Some of his stories are long, and some of his stories are short. The following is one of his stories. It is written in simple English for your sake. It was rainy season in Russia, in a certain village in Russia. The rain water was flowing in streams in the street. It had rained and stopped a little while ago. Two little girls were playing in the street water. It was festival time. They were wearing new frocks. Malasha was the younger of the two little girls. Akulia was the older girl. Malasha stamped her foot in the water. It was a little muddy. The muddy water splashed. It fell on Akulia's new frock. Akulia was just rubbing out the mud at that time. Akulia's mother was walking that way. She looked at her daughter's dress. She scolded her daughter. How can you make your new dress so dirty? She asked. Malasha splashed the water on me, mother, said Akulia. Akulia's mother caught Malasha. She gave two or three slaps on the back of Malasha. Malasha started weeping loudly. Malasha's house was close by. Malasha's mother heard her daughter Malasha weeping. She came out in hurry. Why are you weeping? asked her mother. Akulia's mother bit me on my back, said Malasha. Malasha's mother turned to Akulia's mother in an angry mood. Malasha's mother abused Akulia's mother. Soon they started quarreling. Soon they started quarreling loudly. They called each other names. Their shouting continued. Other women told them soon. Some spotted Akulia's mother. Some spotted Malasha mother. The two fighting groups became bigger and bigger. The men also joined in the fighting. The quarrel became never ending. At that time, the grandmother of Akulia came out of the house. She told the men and the women not to fight. It is festival time. People should not quarrel. She told them. No one listened to her. No one cared for her words. In the meantime, Malasha and, and Akulia forgot about their quarrel. They became friends again. They moved away from the fighting ground. They started letting paper bowls in the running water. Now the old woman said to the fighting groups, Look at the children. They have forgotten their quarrel. They have started playing again. They have become friends again. But you, men and women, still keep quarreling. Still keep quarreling. Are you not ashamed of your tendency? The men and the women looked at the little girls. They felt ashamed. They went back to their houses quietly. Children forget and, and forgive very easily. The elders learned this lesson from the little girls.